Hello everybody, this is Mithril Zenith, and welcome back to yet another emblem uh, desirability tier list. Uh, who needs the emblem most? Who needs Sigurd most today? Sigurd boosts movement, Sigurd um, gives momentum, Sigurd gives free canter when equipped. So we're talking about who really makes the best use out of insane movement tools, insane movement technique. Generally, what you want with a unit who really wants to move uh, is survivability or extra mobility options themselves. So can you double down on the movement you're getting or can you go out and get into the thick of things and survive being in the thick of things? So we're talking about bulk, we're talking about mobility, let's go. Right off the bat, I have these characters ordered, kind of in order. Once again, Alir, kind of C tier, kind of mid. They can make use of it, but I don't think they're the best. I think Vander also. Um, maybe even B tier early on, but I think C tier average. Um, actually, no, B. Because this isn't necessarily about comparison, this is about... Do they want this emblem over any other emblems? And I think, honestly, Vander, at least early on, has a case for wanting Sigurd more than, like, what, Alfred? <laughs> um, pr pretty desirable, pretty solid um, on him. So this is not tiering the units. This is not saying, hey, Vander's an F-tier unit or Vander's a B-tier unit. This is saying Vander really wants Sigurd. Sigurd makes Vander better then Sigurd makes Alir better. Like, the difference in usability is what I'm talking about here. Hopefully that makes sense. If not, argue about it in the comments. Uh, we're going on. Clan doesn't really feel like he really gets a lot out of Sigurd. Maybe later he does, as like a Mage Knight or something. Fram really doesn't. Fram really just wants someone else. Um, Sigurd maybe that's like the the whole if you're doing the you know trainer level 20 strat uh, cheese strat then yeah that's for SP but that's not what we're talking about here um Alfred kind of wants Sigurd Alfred wants other things more though um, Sigurd doubles down on Alfred's ability to use um, Alf Alfred's mobility Alfred's natural ability to use like forged lances is good with overpower um, again, generally you'll want someone better for Alfred, but Sigurd's not a bad choice. Boucheron actually kind of benefits from Sigurd as well by being a uh, backup and getting being able to rush into situations where he can be a backup in. I don't think Boucheron's that good of a unit overall, but Sigurd can increase his usefulness. Um, Etier... I've seen some weird Etsy Sigurd builds where she can rush in and get key snipes against flying units that she otherwise wouldn't be able to reach. So for that, I'm going to say that she can get like C tier, but eh. Saline. What are you doing putting Sigurd on Saline? I don't even know. Uh, again, maybe some niche build wants it. Here's someone. Chloe. As a flyer, especially, flyer, innate lance user, uh, someone with, you know, that extra lance proficiency really benefits from Sigurd uh, in terms of this is in the doubling down on momentum and mobility side of things. So you can fly around 12 squares, do a big uh, overrun on like a bridge map, like say you're doing uh, Leaf's Paralog and the whole column of Mage Knights is coming down and you've retreated, or they're blocking the bridge, or they're coming down northwise, whatever. Um, Chloe, with Sigurd, can fly around the blockage and then overrun uh, back through for massive damage, killing like an entire column of Mage Knights. And so, that's just one example of how flying is really good with plus six move. <laughs> I mean, you can't really argue with that. Louis also, this is not just a meme, Louis also is A tier with Sigurd because of the exact opposite reason. It's not he's capitalizing on the mobility, he's capitalizing on his bulk and using the mobility 
to get there. So he has bulk, he has high strength, he has good lance ranks. Because of all that combo, he goes, smashes through with an override or just even just normal attacks, and then doesn't die on the counter turn, and then can use Sigurd if he needs to get out of there, he can. If he wants to go even deeper, he can. Sigurd really opens up a lot of possibilities, thanks to Louis' bulk. And yeah, Louis' bulk and Maddening falls off later on, but for the first 10 chapters, really solid combination. Anna, again, there's kind of some meme builds I'm sure you can do with Sigurd, but she really wants someone who uh, benefits her in other ways and more meaningful ways for stats. And she does not have any sort of bulk whatsoever. Her, ba her base defense is her lowest stat uh, by far, and it's not getting pretty much any better as you level her, so she needs some other help uh, before she needs Sigurd. Jean, again, is the perpetual C tier because it really depends on what you put him in. Uh, I feel like as a martial master, obviously he doesn't need Sigurd at all, but if you made him a general or made him like a griffin knight or something, then he has a lot more options with Sigurd. Make of Jean what you will. I really don't think Yunaka Sigurd is a good idea. <laughs> uh, she's fragile, she has a little mobility, pass... Uh, past momentum shenanigans are funny, but that's about it. And momentum only applies to your first hit, not to both of them, so... Yeah, w what are you doing? Also, Alchris, what are you doing? <laughs> Again, maybe a funny build. You can do some weird, like, momentum Luna crit thing or something, but... No. Lapis? Lapis can work. Uh, Wyvern Knight Lapis is a really common, really desirable build for her because uh, it gives her the strength that she lacks. Sigurd also boosts up a little extra strength and that can combo off and being able to uh, do some pretty good things. Again, not the best out of the box, but there's some viability there. What are you doing with Citrine and Sigurd? This confuses me. Explain to me a build that uses Sigurd Citrine well that is not just a total meme. She has magic and that's it. That doesn't compute. <laughs> uh, I feel like Sigurd's gonna be a lot more divisive than, uh, than some of these other units. Uh, Amber, again, alright. Cavalier, uh, benefits from the extra strength, benefits from uh, lance proficiency. Not... Again, not necessarily the best, but not the worst either. Still viable. Also surprisingly viable is Diamant, actually. He has more strength, more bulk. Um, I think he wants other emblems more, but Sigurd still is fine. Um, Ivy Sigurd, again, you can do some weird funny shenanigans because of flying. Um, so I guess I'll put her in like C tier for wanting Sigurd. But because she's more of a mage flyer, I don't know. I'll, I'll put B. I will upgrade her to B because of the variety of things that she can do because of flying plus Sigurd plus her natural bulk as Lindworm is actually quite good, even though she's kind of getting doubled. But again, much better users in my opinion. Actually, maybe that means I'll... I'll put her into like C tier. Kind of a meme, kind of viable. Zilkov's a little more viable than Yunaka just because he has that defense. But again, why are you using a thief with Sigurd? <laughs> um, Jade, also put up at A tier. Same reasons as uh, Louis. Jade has better resistance, um, but a little bit lower defense. Uh, still really good strength though. Still combos off well with Sigurd. Um, she has Axe Proficiency instead of Lance, and so she's not really gaining much from Override, but the Lances that Sigurd gives can allow her to participate in some extra break stats, and so there's some, you know, there's some argument to be made there. Uh, still feel that uh, Ike would probably be best on someone like Jade, but Sigurd's not terrible. Uh, Kagetsu... 
You know what, Kagetsu also can be an A tier as well, just because Kagetsu is so uh, versatile. He has the decent bulk, he has the great speed, he has the solid strength. Uh, you can put him into a class that has a lances as an off weapon to forge up something for him. Or you can just use him to balance out his kit. Uh, solid unit, solid choice for Sigurd, again. Um, extra mobility, don't hurt when you already got everything else you need. Fugato with Sigurd can do some weird runaround strats um, with Cupido. Uh, generally speaking, people say Warrior is best on him, but people also say Warrior is best on like most most units. Um, Sigurd helps out a little bit with mobility. Um, Sigurd helps a little bit with power. Um, actually, he can help a decent amount through momentum as well if you have some for, for certain builds. I think that Fogato benefits more uh, from like a more strictly power based or, or conversely like magic based um, emblem. If you want to do a build with him that really amps up his power, you want someone more strength based. Um, if you want to, so I feel like Sigurd's not necessarily the best choice for him, but definitely not a, not a horrible one. Uh, Pandreo is a little weird choice for Sigurd, but if you want to kind of basically make uh, the engaged version of Pent, uh, you can you can try that, you can do that. Not the worst idea in the world. Same with Bune. Bune just doesn't really have the stats he needs uh, in the right places to make Sigurd work out of the box. He needs some other help, some other love, um, and needs like Ike to really be tanky. If you want him to be tanky, Sigurd doesn't really do much for him outside of the mobility. Uh, Tamara actually has some merit. Uh, she has decent defense uh, stats in her picket class, and she can do a couple other classes as well decently. Um, lances mean she can benefit off of Sigurd's lances as well through overcharge, overrun. Um, momentum can help as well. Uh, augment her low strength. Cantor's always nice. Honestly, not if you're using Tamara, Sigurd's not the worst choice for her. Mm, Panette. It depends on what you do with Panette. Uh, I feel like she kind of wants someone else, uh, but at the same time, she does the crit build. Yeah, she's doing a crit build. She's not really going to get the most out of Overrun. Overrun can't crit. Um probably not using lances, you're probably using axes with her. You're probably doing like Wolf Knight Panette. Her bulk is only okay because she has massive base HP. Uh, her speed's pretty, pretty mediocre. She needs some other assistance uh, that's not necessarily Sigurd, but it's not the worst user of him. Uh, probably similar with Marin. She has decent speed, decent strength, but she really wants someone that, uh, actually I'll put her down here. She really wants someone that helps her uh, deals a little bit of extra damage, and Sigurd doesn't really do that enough with her kit. Seedall. Actually, Seedall, I'll put like B tier. Um, of all the emblems, no, I'll put A tier. Of all the emblems that you could give to a dancer, Sigurd's probably not the worst. Uh, Sigurd's probably one of the better ones you could put on a dancer. Um, so if we're saying Seedall in isolation, yeah. Plus six move on a dancer. Who wouldn't want that? If we're talking about overall as the rest of your army, I think that Sigurd's probably better used elsewhere. But if you can't find anywhere else to put Sigurd, honestly, consider dropping him on Seedall. That doesn't sound like the worst idea in the world. You know, 11 move dancer with a three tile canter with all of his uh, inheritable slots still open. Sure. I think that his inheritable slots are probably just better used getting, like, you know, Cantor or, uh, Corrin's, uh, quality time. But, you know, you could just drop him Sigurd if you're not using Sigurd on anyone else. Why not? Hortensia, again, probably like C tier, D tier. The extra mobility is nice for some weird 
builds for some niche staff stuff, but if you want to qual if you want to make big use of like quality time or of like uh sorry of world tree um not quality time or big personality world tree or big personality then you're probably gonna want to have like makaya or a different emblem that gives a staff like if you're if you have the dlc maybe soren otherwise you know i don't know uh it just doesn't really seem like it she works very well with sigurd to me rosado needs a decent amount of help stat wise but sigurd's not terrible for him uh same with gold mary um, she has a little bit better stats, um, but is kind of built a little bit more for a defensive direction. Again, Sigurd helps these units out, but I think that Sigurd really enables other units more. I, I don't see Sigurd really being used on Linden at all. Maybe there's a niche meme build. Uh, Maviar could make it work. Once again, Maviar actually has surprisingly good stats in almost all areas, um, and so that plus his natural lance affinity uh, can work with Sigurd pretty well. Saphir needs a little more help that's not just mobility. Once again, kind of like Panette in that regard. I guess I guess Marin's probably up here in C, not D. Um, Vale, no. Vale wants a lot of other emblems before she wants Sigurd. Those are my thoughts, though. Uh, let let me know what you think in the comments down below, and let me know what you think of this sort of format in general. I'm experimenting with it. I thought it would be a fun thing to try, a fun thing to do, at the very least to get some content on the channel while I'm, you know, still trying to uh, work on some other videos that I think are higher quality that no one's going to watch because it's not a low effort tier list. But hey, such is YouTube life. Till next time, this is Mithril Zenith signing out.